全く新しいオリジナルの IP になります、えー、新世代のアクションエスペオナージゲームです What?、えー、準備を始めてますけども、えー、デストランディング2の後に本格的に小島プロダクションで制作にかかります He's doing a new game? ソニーさんとは、えー、ほぼ30年にわたりエスピオナージのものを一緒に育ててきたという強い経験もあります。えー、僕の集大成の時に、oh、確信をしています。He's making it! He's doing it! He's doing it! This is one of my favorite genres. He's doing his own metal gear! He is doing it! He is finally doing it! Ever since Hideo Kojima left Konami in 2015 and established Kojima Productions, Many people have been wondering about his next project. There was speculation that Kojima would be working on a spiritual successor to the Metal Gear series. Fans have assumed this based on various instances of big game developers leaving their companies to establish their own studios and start working on a spiritual successors to the previous titles. For instance, Koji Ijurashi, the former producer and the director of the Castlevania series at Konami, left to create his own game, Bloodstained. As a spiritual successor to the Castlevania series. Shinji Mikami, the producer and director to the famous Resident Evil games at Capcom, also created a spiritual successor to the Resident Evil series called The Evil Within. Kiji Inafune, formerly a producer and a director at Capcom for the Mega Man series, developed Mady No. 9 as a spiritual successor to the Mega Man series. Other notable examples include Ken Levine. The producer and director of the Bioshock games, who showcased his spiritual successor game called Judas in the State of Play presentation. Additionally, Yushitaka Moriyama and Junko Kuwano, who previously directed the Sukiden games at Konami before leaving, started their own project called Iuden Chronicle, serving as the spiritual successor to the Sukiden games. And the list goes on. Illustrating that Kojima would join this trend and develop a spiritual successor to the Metal Gear series. However, that expectation did not happen. Kojima took a different path, working on something entirely new, which turned out to be Death Stranding. This departure from the anticipated spiritual successor disappointed fans, with some finding it challenging to accept. There was even speculations to the extent that Death Stranding was considered by some as Metal Gear Zero. People, myself included, were eagerly anticipating a new Metal Gear game. Unfortunately, no other game seems to come close to what the Metal Gear series offered. Its intricate storytelling, engaging gameplay, and over the top cinematics, even well known titles like Splinter Cell and Hitman fell short. The only game that came close was Unmetal. Developed by the indie developer An Epic Friend, which I highly recommend if you are looking to experience something reminiscent of a Metal Gear game. Silent Hill series, for example, have other numerous horror games that have successfully filled the void left by Silent Hill. Many indie developers, in particular, have been able to capture the atmospheric and eerie feeling reminiscent of a Silent Hill game. Unlike Silent Hill, The Metal Gear series has not seen a comparable replacement. The void left by the Metal Gear series is profound. The only entity capable of filling it is Konami. We can only hope that Konami will be generous enough to contribute partially to filling this void. However, the release of Metal Gear Survive shattered our faith in Konami and the series as a whole. Even with the recent launch of Metal Gear Solid The Master Collection, featuring up to 8 Metal Gear games, The collection was disappointing, suffering from issues on both the graphical and technical fronts. In addition, Konami's announcement of Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater lacks substantial details. With only limited gameplay footage available, Konami is yet to prove their ability to produce quality games again. Considering the disappointing experience with Metal Gear Survive and the poor handling of the Master Collection, I am not optimistic and won't be holding my breath. As a big fan of the Metal Gear series, our only option is to trust that Konami will deliver with Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. It is a matter of belief. However, I no longer feel the need to force myself to believe in Konami anymore. On January 31st, 2024, during the PlayStation State of Play showcase, After presenting an impressive trailer for Death Stranding 2 on the beach, Hideo Kojima made a surprise appearance alongside Herman Holst, the head of the PlayStation Worldwide Studios. Together, 
they announced Kojima's work on a new game, an action espionage title. He is doing it. He is finally doing it. Kojima is creating a spiritual successor to the Metal Gear series. The game is called Vicent. It is the third new original IP since the establishment of Kojima production. It is a completely new action espionage game coming for the next generation, properly PlayStation 6. I had a feeling that Kojima have been missing the days of developing the Metal Gear series. I have noticed on his Twitter slash X account that he talks about various topics within the Metal Gear series way more than Death Stranding, which is amusing considering his previous statement about not wanting to work on any more Metal Gear games. Nevertheless, I am thrilled. I can't wait to see what he has in mind for the new game, free from the baggage that Metal Gear carries. And it is not just going to be a game, there will also be a movie, and Sony is funding the project, suggesting it might be exclusive to Sony's console. Kojima mentioned that the game is still in the concept phase, and development will commence once Death Stranding 2 development is concluded. This indicates that we might see the new game by 2026 at the earliest, based on Kojima's statements during the state of play, because in two years, he will be celebrating his 40th anniversary in the game production career. Yeah, Kojima is working now on three games, which is crazy. Death Stranding 2, OD, and Vicent, the spiritual successor of Metal Gear. I can't wait to play and experiencing them all. The question now is, how will Konami respond to all of this? As mentioned earlier, there are currently no games that can provide what the Metal Gear series has been known for, making it a unique advantage for the franchise. Kojima's announcement of a spiritual successor to a series he has dedicated 30 years to is a significant red alarm for Konami and the Metal Gear franchise. Konami needs to exert a considerable effort to ensure their upcoming games, especially Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater, will deliver and meet fans' expectations. Konami has ambitious plans for the Metal Gear series, kicking off with the release of the Master Collection Volume 1, with Volume 2 possibly on the horizon, the collaboration with Fortnite, and the upcoming release of Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater indicate that Konami is laying out a roadmap for the series. It is the beginning of a new chapter, and we are yet to see how Konami will navigate and handle the Metal Gear series as a whole. But Hideo Kojima is coming in full throttle, and he might overshadow and potentially kill the Metal Gear series, who have a 30 years of experience and expertise of making them. Coupled with a team from his Kojima's production, which include individuals who previously worked on Metal Gear games at Konami. Mark my word, Kojima will be the one who will take Metal Gear series down, with his new upcoming spiritual successor, Vizent. The Metal Gear brand is in danger, and Konami needs to take action. Surprisingly, this news brings me joy, as it put Konami on edge and pressured them to excel with the Metal Gear series. Even if Konami fails, we still have Hideo Kojima developing Vicent, the spiritual successor to a series we once loved. It is a win-win situation for us, the fans. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.